Whoa, upload schedule, what is that? Yeah, I haven't made a full-length video in over a month. And if you haven't read my community post, I'll let you know why at the end of the video. As for the main topic of this video, basically this mod I made saved my entire YouTube career, I guess you could say. <laughs> and so basically this is the video announcing the update, even though it's been out for quite a while now. But yeah, I want to talk about the update, what's in it if you don't know, and pretty much tell you about the mod. I did already make a video on this about three months ago now, but the mod back then was a big mess. You couldn't paint the engines, they were boring, they weren't modeled very well and they're still not modeled very well but they're better and basically the 1.1 update which is the update that i've released has added a bunch of new features to the existing engines and also added three new engines with different fuels and the models are much better on these three new engines because they're based off real engines although i guess you could say there's like about 10 engines if you consider the fact that all these engines have custom nozzles and other stuff like that which actually changes their performance so i guess there's several different engines here however first of all i'm going to talk about the update to the existing engines that were in the mod, the Wanda engine and the Cosmo engine. First of all, these engines have had a slightly different model. I completely remodeled them, made them much smoother and just, they're nicer. I'm still not happy with the engines. I wish they looked a little bit more interesting, but that might be for a future update. I also fixed the ability to paint them so now they're paintable. And I also did a slight bit of balancing on them. Either way, I doubt people use these engines as much as the other engines in the mod because I prefer the other engines compared to these ones. And let's talk about those other engines. I'll talk about them in order of which I implemented them, and that means that the models of the later engines are actually much better because I got better at modeling slowly through the process, and you'll see that the later models are much nicer than the first model. The first model or engine is the Super Draco engine. This is obviously based off the real life Super Draco engine from SpaceX. It's still currently in a bit of an unbalanced state and it's also got a bit of a glitch to it where it has this random texture on it and you can't paint that part. But I wasn't too worried about posting it because I don't think many people are going to use this engine and if they do, you're probably not going to be able to see it anyway. I gave this engine three different nozzles, the default nozzle for the Super Draco and then a sea level and a vacuum variant. Whilst these nozzles technically don't exist in real life, I thought it'd be cool and useful to add them so they could be used as actual engines if you wanted to. All these nozzles of course change the performance, but there's nothing special about them. They're pretty ugly to be honest. Moving on we have one of the most interesting engines in the mod, the LR87. This is of course based on the engine used on the Titan ICBM, at least the hypergolic variant. It's essentially to my knowledge the first engine in Juno to technically use two engines even though realistically it's just one engine in the subassembly. But you can pull it out of the parts list as two engines so I find that pretty cool. There's two different variants of the engine and that's how I basically made them fit together nicely. And there's also two different nozzle styles for this engine. One is for the LR87-9 and one is for the LR8711. The LR879 has more thrust than the 11 and that is historically accurate so yeah you can kind of use them historically even though they're nothing like the actual engines they're very differently balanced but yes the 9 nozzle does have more thrust than the 11 nozzle and they also look different and I really like how they look I think these are my favorite nozzles out of the entire mod kind of. Also just a note, when connecting the LR87 to a rocket's fuel tank, it may not select the fuel correctly, so you will have to change the fuel manually unfortunately. And also you can't really resize it unless you rebuild the entire engine using the two different separate engines. And let's talk about the last engine in the mod which is basically my favourite here. And this is the R4D. The R4D is a hypergolic reaction control thruster. It was used on the Apollo missions and I think it looks really cool and it's quite a nice model. In fact it's probably my favourite model in the entire mod to be honest. Which is ironic considering it's also the smallest engine in the entire mod and you can barely see it sometimes when you put it on a real scale craft. The R4D has a stripped and unstripped variant so you can take away one of the fuel pumps. This is completely unhistorical but I just thought it looked cool. And the engine also has three nozzles, the advanced, the basic and the non. Non is basically without the nozzle, I thought this looked cool and I've seen engines fire without nozzles so I thought huh why not, looked cool. I really should have done this with all the engines because I think it would have looked awesome especially for the LR87 but whatever maybe I'll do that in the future. Each of the nozzles change the performance of the engine of course and the reason there is a basic and advanced variant is the basic variant is meant to model the RCS thrusters used on the space shuttle actually so I'm trying to get two engines in one here and the advanced is the one used on the Apollo missions so really you can use this in many uses it's pretty awesome of course being a rocket engine this doesn't actually work as RCS I really wish it did but I don't know how to do that so the Vizzy people will have to figure that one out but yeah it's really cool and definitely my favorite model I really like this one now that I've showed off the mod I'll leave the link in the description if you want to give it a try please give me any 
any feedback you can. I want to know exactly how people feel about it. And you're probably wondering what's been going on with me and, you know, not posting for a month and all that if you don't already know. Basically, I've been having a lot of struggles with mental health recently, so I've been taking like basically a break, I guess. Like I almost stopped doing YouTube entirely, but I managed to pull it back because I posted this mod and it gave me a lot of motivation because I finished this. I actually finished a project that I wanted to do and it gave me a lot of motivation. So without this mod, I probably wouldn't be posting a video again. And I doubt I'll be posting super regularly like I used to, but I definitely will be posting. I even want to try and do some streams again at some point if I can find the courage. So I'd like to thank everyone who supported me through this time and especially the members who have for some reason decided to stay with the channel. Massive thanks to them. They are very much appreciated. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.